I am not having the chocolate tea or nothing with chocolate today because I want this to be about the virus and this drink is to help with your immune system and to help with mucus and to give you a good cooling to you know make your body strong so that's why there is no sort of chocolate tea or tea with chocolate in it all right so let's continue all right all right all right welcome welcome to another episode of chocolate and chit chat today's drink won't be a chocolate tea just be a immune system building type of tea also giving you a cooling that kind of thing and i will tell you more about this tea as the video progresses so I am going to use some ginger and garlic, some dry orange peel. I cut my oranges, put this, the, the peel to dry, wash them when I'm ready to use it. And I'm going to add my hot water and I'm going to let that draw. You could drink this hot, cold, room temperature, any which way you please. So this is the drink I'm going to have today because this video is about coronavirus. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. Today we are going to discuss Corona and how it's affecting you, your family, your community. So let's get into this conversation today. Click the bell for new videos. Hi, welcome to another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. Today we're going to discuss a little about Corona. Not too much about this coronavirus because it's already frustrated and sad for so many people worldwide. So in the previous clip before this you saw how I prepared my tea and this is it here you could drink it as a water cold or warm or room temperature so I'm having it at room temperature so what I really want to come here and say ladies and gentlemen we are all wise we don't need books to tell us what we have to do so let's start to practice a little more common sense and be your brother's keeper and let us talk about instructions for a minute. Why it is as humans we have to be reminded to practice proper hygiene? Why? Why isn't it something that we do all the time? Hmm. It's just crazy to me. But before I continue, let me just, just explain this. This you could also use for a cooling. We could also use it as tea to boost your immune system. And you saw how I put this tea, or you could drink it as a plain water. You could sweeten it, not sweet, but just uh, just make it a little brackish. You just add a little sugar and have it cool. All right. So in Trinidad, we had firstly 69 cases. Those were some persons who came back from a cruise, so they quarantined them. And out of these 69, it had 40 something, and now we are at. 50 something. Recently we heard of another case of someone came back from a spring break and they are now testing 300 persons that this individual was around with. So let's just pray that everything is okay with that situation. So you could just do simple things like wash your hands that you're supposed to be doing every day and stay at home. Sometimes God allows some things to happen to bring us back to earth and to remind us what is important. Maybe that is what this is already all about and not really what we see. Not everything is physical. A lot of things are spiritual. And we need to sit down and think, how much time have I really spent with my family before this whole disaster take place? Well, I am someone who loves being home. So this is like really an everyday situation for me. So it really doesn't bother me much. So I appreciate the persons that are following the rules and trying not to put themselves in harm way or even the ones who have it and may spread it. I pray that everyone get well. This Trinidad and Tobago is very small and we cannot handle that thing to really take off in this country because, oh, we will wipe out. You know what I mean? We can handle that, especially Tobago. It's even smaller than Trinidad. So be safe, my fellow Trinbegonians. And to you out there worldwide, practice proper hygiene, not just because of this virus, but it should be something that you do all the time. Proper hygiene. Simple Simon. And be safe. 
and this crazy time that this virus is reminded us of how small this world really is you know that the virus is reminding us of how small this world really is so we really need to look out for each other because we don't know who would get this virus tomorrow you don't know what will happen an hour from now because it's like they're dropping like flies so ladies and gentlemen build up your immune system practice proper hygiene something that you should supposed to be doing 365 days of the year every single day that god gives you life you're supposed to be practicing proper hygiene for the rest of your life let this be a lesson if you wasn't doing that before start doing it now take care of yourself let's not forget how small this world really is it is very very small and uh, look how as i was telling someone recently look where trinidad is look where wuhan is you understand and today trinidad march 25th we have a good bit of cases why it's just show you how easily things could come to you right as i mentioned the cruise look how much people came from an ad cruise and out of that cruise out of the 69 persons that they had originally quarantined 40 something had and then throughout the weeks more cases keep popping up because of people who's traveling and coming back home and not being tested at the airport or being sent immediately to be quarantined ladies and gentlemen as i said just now there we need to practice common sense brain before books there was always this before books came about we don't need to read any papers and read something out of uh, out of a book to tell us this is what we're supposed to be doing right yeah so be safe to all worldwide whomsoever is watching this be safe take care of the babies take care of the grands proper hygiene is the order of the day all right and thank you for watching and again this little concoction here and with the previous concoction in my other video with the bread this stuff roasted sausage stuff sesame loaf there is a concoction with shark oil and honey and another with ginger garlic onion honey so all together i have given you three concoctions so far to help natural stuff to help boost your immune system thank you for watching another episode of chocolate and chit chat and you understood the reason why there isn't any chocolate tea today because this coronavirus was on my mind and I just needed to come on here and say something to you all and also to share my immune system booster with you all. Have a wonderful Wednesday evening. Thanks again for watching. Be safe.